Welcome back my Quackshalots, we're back with some more Genshin Impact. Today we'll be looking at another account review winner within our Discord, Zef. So I'll be checking out his account. If you would like your account reviewed, check the description down below. The Discord link is there for more details. But yeah, we'll hold you guys any further here with the intro. Let's get right into the account review. Zef wanted me to look at the start characters from Razor down to the Luke. And he also wanted me to look at his Sheng Ling. I am assuming you want most likely build advice and team compositions you can run Sheng Ling in. So we'll get a little bit into that once we look through your start characters and we'll go from there so let's start with the first character here so razor level 90 2.4k attack about wolf gravestone okay nice bloodstained pale flame c6 and triple crown okay juicy 51 190 actually that's pretty damn good actually that is pretty damn good i mean the crit rate could use some improvement there but overall especially for wolf gravestone build so like a non-crit weapon that is pretty damn good all right let's look at the stats here so that is like 42 cv really good so another 40 plus cv so that's another like 40 142 oh i see the attack sands you have a lot of crit rate there so this might be kind of hard to swamp especially that you have 51 crit rate too right wait this goblet is cracked god damn like 43 cv fizz goblin okay that is insanely good and this is not the best circlet but it is what it is what can you do so overall very very good razor build obviously it needs some improvement on crit rate but like artifact rng what can you do so overall very very good build triple crowned wolf gravestone let's move on to your ganyu ganyu 2k attack okay crescent r3 level 90 four piece wanderer c0 and crowned on the autos 88 okay so not bad 56 205 okay so that's pretty damn good actually let's look at the artifacts so this is actually really good that's like a 43 cv flower wait what is this plum god damn the crit rate okay so this could be better but i i don't know why wanderer sands are so hard to get and the decent goblet and circlet not the best we only got one crit rate roll so kind of unfortunate with the circlet there but for what it is 56 yeah 56 205 that is pretty damn good so good ganyu build let's move on to your ayaka ayaka level 90 about 1.9k attack black cliff okay nice four plus business c0 and 868 so still got to work on the talents a bit i'm not sure how much you used your Ayaka 55 207 okay so that's pretty damn good the only thing with the high crit rate is that you're probably gonna go over the cap or actually not even properly you are gonna go over the cap as Blizzard Shredder will give you 95% crit rate once you use a cryo character you will get cryo resonance so that will push you to 110% crit rate so you're definitely gonna go over the cap of the 100% threshold on uh, crit rate so do keep that in mind I'm assuming it's a crit rate circlet right yeah crit rate circlet you have a crit damage one honestly Actually, no, because that would put you down to about... You'd be at, like, what, 24? You had 55, right? You had 55, so that put you down to about 24 crit, right? Which, honestly, low-key wouldn't even be that, like, horrendous, as, like, Blessed Shore is OP, right? But anyways, let's look at your stats here. Okay, it's so not the best flower. Okay, so that is decent. That's a pretty good sans. Gomba is kind of copium, and yeah, we've seen the circle in. But yeah, I feel like Loki, you should probably swap this to crit damage, Loki. I feel like a lot of people undervalue how much crit rate you really get from this four-piece set bonus. But um, overall, not too bad on the Anka. I would probably swap the circlet as uh, this is just way too much crit rate for four-piece business rare. So let's move on to your lawn. 29k HP, okay, 1.2k attack. Sagba, okay, fine, that's fine. Level 70, four-piece emblem, C0, and 189, okay. 64, 164, 155. Okay, so pretty good stats overall. Let's look at the artifacts. So that's a decent flower. That's a lot of crit damage, actually. That is about 35. That's pretty good as well. 36 CV. Hydro Goblet could use some improvement. And your circle is not bad. Overall, pretty good build. Not too bad. All right, let's move on to your Hugh Tao. 31.7k HP. 900 attack. Deathmatch 80 R1. Four piece Crimson Witch. C0 and triple eight. Okay, 62 to 15 on the stance. Okay, not too bad. Let's look at the actual artifacts here. Okay, -ish, I guess. It's not the best flower. I mean, the crit damage is good because it'll help you offset your death match, right? So it's, it's an okay flower. Unfortunately, no crit rate on the flower. Uh, Plum, why do you have so many crit damage pieces? So yeah, these are not the best. So not the best substat wise. I don't know why you have so many crit damage pieces here. It's kind of crazy. But I'm um, not bad overall on the Hu Town. Let's look at your Yon Fei, level 90, 1.4k attack about, 143 elements of mastery. What's it? Nice R4, level 80, 4 piece wanderer, C6, and 81111. 11. 55. 190 okay so not too bad but this is pretty good that's like what 41 cv give or take that's like another 34 sans is not the best not the best gauntlet and not the best circlet but i mean overall it is what it is but yeah overall wanderers build totally fine on yonfei 
and your stats aren't too bad either so pretty good stats overall level 83 riding shogun i would definitely take her to 90 eventually uh 1.8k attack about okay jade spear nice four piece emblem c1 okay i'm, I'm assuming you're eventually gonna get the c2 right hopefully uh six seven ten fifty six one eighty six two forty one so pretty damn good stats overall actually okay let's look at the artifacts here why is there so many crit damage artifacts that you have okay that is like 27 this sand is gone to holy crap dude that's like basically a 40 cv right that is really good okay so attack gob is pretty decent i mean you have some injury short rolls here too and the circlet is not the best i mean at least you got some crit rate rolls here you got two there so not bad overall on the raiden build okay Zhang Li, 19k hp 1.7k attack level 80 deathmatch okay i'm assuming this is like a hybrid build okay never mind okay so you're running burst support Zhang Li. petra no bless okay that's fine c0 788 69 69 crit rate why 69 186 okay so looking good let's look at the artifacts here okay so that's not the best flower plum is pretty good kind of copium on the sands goblet okay you would definitely want a geo goblet but i understand you're forcing this for the two piece but uh, eventually you're going to want a geo goblet as that one that you more damage but let's keep that in mind with the main stat uh, crit damage, crit rate. Okay, so that's pretty good overall on the circlet. But yeah, not that bad on Zhongli. Only problem would be, again, the goblet. Swap that to Geo and you should be good to go. Wait, what is your off piece actually, now that I think of it? Your off piece is your circlet. Do you not have a blast circlet you can use? What is this? Oh, there's no crit on this piece though. Do you have Geo goblets? Let me check your Geo goblets and see if you have anything good. Wait, do you have no Geo goblets? Wait, how? Wait, how is that possible? How do you have no Geo goblets? Oh my god. Somebody get this man a Geo Goblet immediately. So, uh, yeah, I would just swap the Goblet whenever you can. But overall, it's fine for now. So, let's move on to your Sayu. Sayu level 80, 2.3k attack about. Okay. Skyward Pride, okay, nice. Glad Remy, C6, 7, 10, 11, 63, 171. Is this DPS Sayu? I mean, you're running Remy Glad, so. Okay, so that is about 42 CV, give or take. Okay, so that is about 37, 38 CV ish. Okay, not the best sands. You have a lot of attack goblets, as I can see. I mean, I mean, I understand the reason why you're using them. You probably don't have any better elemental goblets, but just keep that in mind, right? Like, keep a lookout for them. But I can see that attack goblet trend going on here. Uh, this circlet's not too bad either. But yeah, I'm assuming we're in DPS Sayu. Do you even use your Sayu, uh, Zef? I don't know if you do or not. Let's move on to your Shing Shu. 1.8k attack, level 80. Attack sword of 90 or 1. Glad Heart of Depth. DPS Shing Shu, question mark. C6. 1, 9, 10. 61, 40, 204. Okay. I mean, I mean, Glad Heart of Depth is fine. I would try to get him an emblem set or swap the Glad to no bless. But anyways, let's look at the artifacts. That's like about 30 CV. That's okay. So not too bad on the flower. This is decent. Yeah, okay, so you have another attack goblet. Uh, crit rate, okay, so it's not the best circlet. But yeah, not too bad on the Shun Shu. Again, uh, just keep an eye out for elemental goblets, right? I understand the pain of artifact RNG. But overall, not too bad on your Shun Shu build. Let's move on to Deluke, which I believe was your last character. Level 70, is he naked? Okay, why are there so many Deluke abusers? Deluke does not deserve this. Actually, he kind of does. But yeah, we looked through all of your characters. I think overall, you're doing pretty good, at least with the characters that are starred, which are your built characters. But yeah, overall, not too bad. The only issue I can really see is that you're using a lot of attack goblets and again I understand maybe you don't have the best elemental goblets but trying to uh, keep an eye out for them again and make those swaps. In terms of Shang Ling, since you wanted me to look at your Shang Ling and again I'm assuming you want me to give you advice on how to build her properly and what team comps you can run her in. Four piece emblem, okay good good good. I was about to say four piece emblem. Let me actually look at the artifacts and stats real quick here. 59103. So I'm assuming your Raiden probably has your best emblem set. Okay, so not the best stats. The main stats are looking okay, so that's fine. So I'm assuming you, you know what to do here. Wait, what weapon are you using on Chengling? The catch? Okay, that's fine. What is your energy recharge again? 241? In terms of your Chengling with the 241 energy recharge, Bennett and Chengling are pretty much irreplaceable. And with that being said, Bennett can help battery Chengling, which I'm assuming should be sufficient with Bennett if you rotate properly. So just keep that in mind. You might be able to make the swap to the attack stands. But with that being said, Emblem is fine. Again, looking at your main stats, it seems like you have the right idea 
idea going on here. Not the best luck with substats, unfortunately. So Emblem is fine. The catch is obviously fine on Shang Ling. It's really, really good on her. In terms of team comps with Shang Ling, you can run obviously Shang Ling Bennett, Xing Shu, and Raiden. Actually, I mean, you could substitute Xing Shu for Yulan for more damage. But um, basically, this is Raiden National. So you have Raiden, you have Yulan, you have Bennett, you have Shang Ling. That is a very, very strong team comp for Shang Ling. And probably out of your current roster is what I would honestly recommend. But yeah, overall, you have a very, very good account, Zef. Okay, let's see how many stars you have in the abyss 36 stars okay okay that is very very good actually but yeah overall you have a very very good account again Zeph. honestly i would just continue farming artifacts unless you really want to build other characters it's really up to you as you did get 36 stars in the abyss and i know i've said this multiple times across many account reviews but once you get 36 stars in the abyss that's pretty much it right at that point in time if you can consistently get 36 stars in the abyss you can essentially just build whatever you want and farm whatever you want at that point in time right so it's really very very subjective whether you want to build characters or continue min-maxing your characters etc but yeah let me know what you guys think of Zeph's account i think this account is very very good very very solid and uh yeah hopefully you guys all enjoyed this account review and i'll see you guys all in the next one I didn't do it live when I say shit. Now I'm inside all them people's playlists.